Hey guys, we have learned about how to multiply one digit numbers and up to 11 and 12, but now we're gonna be learning how to multiply two digit numbers by one digit numbers. So our essential question is what strategies can you use to find products of two digit numbers and one digit numbers? And remember that word products, a product is the answer to a multiplication problem. You guys remember that. So let's go ahead and get started. So. This problem says Sam has three boxes of crayons. So we're gonna circle our important number. Each box holds 24 crayons. That's also an important number. And our question is how many crayons does Sam have in all? So we're gonna underline that question. So we are going to model the problem using base 10 blocks, which are these right here. Now this is a different strategy for multiplying than um, we normally do. So I'm gonna show you how to do this strategy, then I'm also going to show you a different strategy after we're done with this one. So this one says to just go ahead and model three groups of 24 because we're taking 24 and multiplying it by three, which means we have 24 three times. So we're gonna have this right here is two tens and four ones, so that's 24, two tens, four ones, 24, two tens, four ones, 24. So we drew it all out. And we're gonna start with multiplying the tens. Now this is opposite from what we normally do because we normally start in the ones place. But we're gonna multiply the tens. We have two times three. Now that's not just two times three, that's two tens times three. So we have to multiply that together because we have two tens, two tens, two tens, all in all that's six tens, and six tens we know is 60. So then we're gonna multiply the ones. We have three groups of four, so we have four times three, which is 12. Then we come down here and we add 60 plus 12, because we had 60 and 12 here, so we add those together, zero plus two is two, six plus one is seven, so 24 times three is 72. So let's do another example here. So this one is using place value and regrouping. So we're gonna use the base 10 blocks to model three groups of 24. So here again, we have 24, 24, 24, and we're gonna go ahead and get this started. So first, we're gonna start with the ones place. Four times three is 12. Now, remember, we can't have 12 in the ones place because we can only have ones in the ones place. So we write the two down here and we regroup and we bring that one up here. So we have a total of 12 ones, but the two is in the ones place and our one for the 12 is in the tens place, so we have to write it up here. Then we multiply the tens. So we do two times three, which is six tens. Two tens times three, six tens. But then we have that one up here that represents one ten from our 12. So we just take that 10 and we add it to the one tens, and we have now seven tens, seven tens, which is equal to 70 but we had 70 plus those two little ones that we have here. So we add those together and our answer is 72, 72. So that's a different way to do it. And I'm gonna show you more examples of that in a minute. So let's do this down here. We'll use place value here. So we start with the tens place, three times five tens, five times three tens. That's gonna be 150, because five times three is 15, and if it's in the tens, we have 150. Then if we do five times nine ones, we remember that five times nine, we can do that um, by knowing our nines trick. So the tens digit is gonna be one less than the number you multiplied by nine, which is a four, one less than five is four. And then to get to nine, we have to add five to the nine, so that answer is 45. Then we add those together. Zero plus five is five. Five plus four is nine. And one plus zero is one. So the product is 195. Now if I were to do that a different way, I would start in the ones place. Here I start in the tens. Start in the ones place nine times five, which I know is 45. So I write the five here and the four is regrouped. It's already written up here for me. Then I do the tens place, I do three tens times five, three times five is 15, and I add that four in the ones place, so I have 15 plus four, 
five plus four is nine, then I bring down that one. So I write 19 here. So my product is 195. So now you guys are gonna be doing these problems on your own. This is a completion grade. Um, you are supposed to do the odd problem. So I'm gonna do some even examples for you and then you're gonna do the odd problems on your own. So right here we have 16 times four. So you get to choose, I'm gonna show you both ways. You get to choose which one you do. So let me zoom in a little bit here. All right, so for number two, we have 16 times four. So I can either start with the tens place. So I have one 10 times four, which is 40. And then I do six times four, which is 24. Add those together. Zero plus four is four and four plus two is six. So my product here is 64 or I could do it the other way where I have 16 times four. I start with the ones place. I keep breaking my pencil. Six times four, I remember is 24 and I regroup. Then one times four is four plus two, six. So my answer is still the same. It was just a different way of doing it. And I can actually use these to help me. I can use these models right here. So that's all 16. I could just add it up. I could see that I have one, two, three, four tens, and then I keep adding up the ones until I get to a total of 64. All right, guys, have fun.